search for woman in red who may hold key to finding Niccolo. Police release CCTV of fellow female dog walker seen near to pathway where missing mother of two was last seen, as officers seal off lane. Police today released a CCTV image of another dog walker who may be the last person to see Nicola Bully before she vanished last Friday. The woman in a red coat walking a white dog on the lead in St. Michael's on wire north of Preston is being sought as a potential witness rather than a suspect in any crime. She was seen on CCTV at around 8.48am on allotment lane, close to where M's bully was last seen on January 27 and was also seen near to the gate at the end of allotment lane. Lancashire Police Superintendent Sally Riley said, We now want to speak to the woman pictured on CCTV as we believe she was walking in the area at around the time Nicola was last seen. If you know her, or believe this may be you, please get in touch. You may not think you know anything but you might have seen something that could be significant. A spokesman added, we would stress that the woman is sought as a witness and nothing more. It came hours after police sealed off a path by a bench where missing mother of two Nicola was last seen a week ago, as specialist divers scour the area for clues. Detectives insist there is nothing to suggest she is victim of a crime. But M's Bullen's extended family fear she has been taken from the riverbank where her phone was left on a bench. The potential witness is described as wearing a red and white coat with a fur hood, light-colored trousers and a light bobble hat. The force said the woman was walking a small, white dog. Police said there was nothing to suggest any third-party involvement, adding the woman was sought as a witness and nothing more. Superintendent Riley said, we know that Nicola going missing has caused a great deal of concern for the wider local community, as well as obviously being an awful time for her family. This remains a missing person inquiry and at this time there is nothing to suggest any third party involvement in Nicola's disappearance. I appreciate that there are unanswered questions about what has happened to Nicola, but I would urge people not to speculate or spread false rumors. We will share updates when we can, but we must be factual. Nicola's family are being kept up to date with events and are being supported by officers. We are really grateful for the community's help and cooperation so far, but I'd like to stress again parts of the riverbank are treacherous, especially after the recent rain, and we would ask that nobody puts themselves in danger and that the police and partner agencies' efforts to find Nicola are not compromised. Specialist teams from the police and other emergency services continue to search the area near the river wire including drivers and underwater drones. Officers are combing the riverbed near the bench on which Em's bully's mobile phone was found and where her dog was later retrieved by a local resident. Trees and foliage which hang over the river are also being checked for any items of interest. A solo police diver spent an hour in the river wire this morning using a head torch to search through the murky water. She emerged onto the bank just after 12.30 p.m. this afternoon without finding anything of note. Another police diver was seen being ready to enter the river and is due take over the underwater search this afternoon. A police source told Mail Online, the underwater teams are performing what's known as an arc search, whereby they monitor the riverbed by moving in a side-to-side -side motion from bank to bank. As of yet nothing of significance has been found but it'll be a long, thorough process. The stretch of river close to where Ems Bully was in the village of St. Michael's on Wire is about nine miles east of the estuary in Fleetwood. Ems Bully, 45, was last seen walking her spaniel Willow at about 9.15 am last Friday along the river wire in Lancashire while dialed into a business call. The night before her disappearance? She had been planning a spa trip with her sister Louise and discussing what treatments they'd get, according to her mother. At the time, her parents were looking after her daughters while Em's bully took a business call. She was upbeat, having recently secured a new client at work. Recalling their last conversation, her father, Ernest, told the mirror, I said we better go now and Nicola came to the front door and I gave her a kiss and told her I loved her and that was the last conversation I had with her. Both Ernest, 73, and Dot, 72, 
said their daughter's disappearance was out of character and revealed that they asked police if there is any chance she has been abducted. Asked about their daughter's state of mind in recent days, the couple said there had been absolutely nothing out of the ordinary. She had no health problems that they knew of and was enjoying her job. M's bully, who lived for her children, had also bought tickets to watch them perform in choir and gymnastics shows in recent weeks, Dot added. Ernest broke down as he told how hard it was to be in the same room as his granddaughters, age six and nine, as they continue to ask questions about their mother's whereabouts. When I look at the kids, I have to go out of the room because I can't hold it together, he said. They are asking where mommy is and when is mommy coming home? It's so hard. The family say the girls were sobbing their hearts out when their father, Paul Ansel, tried to explain to them that mommy is lost. We don't know how long we can keep going before they realize. They think mummy is coming home soon, but if this keeps going on I don't know what we are going to say to them. Ernest and M's bully's extended family have questioned whether she was taken from the river bank, given there were no signs that she had slipped or fallen into the water and zero clues as to where she could be. The family have vowed to never give up their search. M's bully had dropped her two daughters off at primary school in the village of St. Michael's on Wire, Lancashire, at about 8.45 m last Friday. She then walked Willow to a nearby towpath by the river wire but has not been seen since. Willow was spotted by a woman near a slippery river bank, by a bench where M's bully's phone was later found still dialed into a business call. The dog was bone dry meaning that the animal had not entered the water but appeared to be distressed by something. Police say they remain open-minded as to M's bully's disappearance but do not believe at present that she was attacked. Rescuers have so far focused their efforts on a tidal stretch of the river amid fears she may have fallen in and been washed out towards the coast at Fleetwood, some nine miles away. Friends of M's bully say that the doting mother would have never willingly left her family. Rescue teams have scoured the area near Garstang Road for clues over the 45-year-old's mysterious disappearance. While the river is just 18 inches deep in some areas, the section where M's bully's phone was found is near a sign which reads, Danger, Deep Water. A local told Mail Online, I know the woman who found Willow. She said the dog was near the river bank and close to the bench that Nicola's phone was found. Willow was bone dry and so hadn't been into the water but the dog was in agitated state. Ernest noted there was no sign of someone slipping or falling into the river, leading the family to question if someone has taken her. He added, I asked the sergeant from Fleetwood a few days ago, is there any chance of her being taken? And she said, I don't think that's the case. The grandfather was not entirely convinced by the response as the location his daughter went missing in is such an isolated area. We just dread to think we will never see her again. If the worst came to the worst and she was never found, how will we deal with that for the rest of our lives? The couple, who are joint owners of a freight transport company, have split their time between caring for their grandchildren, Nicola's two young daughters, and looking for Nicola. M's bully's mother, Dot, said the nights were the hardest. She told the mirror, our worst time is when it gets dark. We find it really hard to think about wondering is she okay and where is she? Even though police have assured the family they're working on it 24 hours a day, Dot and Ernest wake in the night and can get back off to sleep as they're racked with fear. Mr. Ransell tried to gently break the news that mummy is lost to their two little girls, age nine and six at the weekend. M's bully's daughters cried their eyes out as Mr. Ransell tried to console them while stricken with fear and grief himself. And while he is trying to be as strong as possible for the sake of his girls, he has tried to explain the basics to them. Mr. Ransell's father David said, the children have been told. Mummy's missing, but they haven't been told the full details, according to the Sunday. When they were told, they absolutely cried their eyes out. And M's bully's mother said, Paul had to tell the girls what was going on. He just told them, Mummy's lost. It's heartbreaking. Meanwhile, 
A business owner who raised the alarm about M. Spooley's disappearance has spoken for the first time of the moment she came across her worried dog Willow by the side of the river. The woman, who did not want to be named, spotted the brown Springer Spaniel on the riverbank on Friday morning. She also found M. Spooley's mobile phone on a bench by the side of the river, under a tree which has a sign warning of deep water nailed to it. Bizarrely, Willow was running free and the woman found the dog's harness on the ground next to the river. She called her daughter-in-law who called M's bully's partner Mr. Ansel, who in turn dialed 999. The woman, who runs a business in St. Michael's on wire, said she knew of M's bully and hoped nothing bad had happened to her. Speaking yesterday, she said, I saw the dog and I recognized it but I suddenly couldn't think whose dog it was. There was a mobile phone on the bench and there was also something between the bench and the river so I went and looked, and it was a dog harness. The dog looked worried so I tied her up and rushed home as I had to go to an appointment. I then went and spoke to my daughter-in-law and she immediately knew who the dog was, alerted the woman's partner and that was it, the police were on it. Specialist search teams were pictured once again searching the river yesterday this time helped by a police sniffer dog. The animals are able to search large areas of water, both lakes and rivers, and are able to perform a search in approximately 10% of the time taken by other search techniques. Officers comb the area for clues on the riverbank either side of the water. On one side of the river is the bench where police found her phone still linked to a work conference call. The danger sign warning of deep water is nailed to a tree behind the bench, joined now by a missing person poster appealing for information about her disappearance. Across the way, an apparently abandoned house is visible in the distance. Officers are believed to have searched its grounds, but it's reportedly not of any significant interest to the investigation. And detectives probing the disappearance spoke to a key witness who may have been the last person to see M's bully as he walked his own dog. Superintendent Sally Riley said, I must stress at this time that this remains a missing person inquiry and at this time there is nothing to suggest any third party involvement in Nicola's disappearance. Meanwhile, neighbors have raised fears about the slippery river bank near to where the missing mother was last seen. Her disappearance comes more than two decades after a toddler drowned in the same river less than six miles from where M's bully was last seen. The body of two-year-old Reese Mayberry washed up half a mile downstream from the riverside campsite he had been staying at with family. Speaking from the family home in Inscape, Mr. Ransell said he spent all of Sunday searching for his partner of 12 years. The engineer said, It is just perpetual hell. It is just utter disbelief. We are living through this but it doesn't feel real. All we can say is we need to find her. She's got two little girls that need their mummy home. We have got to get some good news now. Villager Nicola Dewey told the Times she'd skipped her usual river walk for two days running in the wake of M. Spooley's disappearance. It's really stunned people. It's silly, but we are now locking our doors, she said. Ben Posica, the director of Exclusively Mortgages said M's bully had logged on to a team meeting at 9.01 am. It seems as if she was muted and didn't have her camera on. She was listening in whilst walking her dog, he told Mail Online. There were numerous parties involved in this. A lot of people attended the call. The police are investigating the call. M's bully has lived in Lancashire for 25 years, but is originally from near Chelmsford, Essex, and has a southern accent. Her brother-in-law Stephen Cunningham said, The whole family, as expected, are struggling to understand what's happened and worried beyond words. It came as a social media post emerged where M's bully shared pictures of herself walking her beloved dog Willow, close to where she vanished on January 27. In it, she said, A very foggy cold walk this morning. Not a day to forget your gloves. Bit spooky too. Set me up for the day though and Willow had the best time. Police are appealing for any information on Mr. Bully's whereabouts. She is described as white, 5 feet 3 inches, with light brown shoulder length hair. At the time of her disappearance she was wearing a long black guy jacket with a hood, black jeans and olive green ankle Wellington boots.
Her hair was in a ponytail. Mr. Ransell said he or M's bully, also known as Nikki, would drop their children off at a local primary school before taking Willow for a walk along the river nearby. M's bully did the school run before heading for the dog walk on Friday, police indicated. I got a call from the school regarding somebody who had found Willow. Nikki's phoning the dog lead and harness on the bench, Mr. Ansel, who then called the police, said.